Everyone at the University of Cambridge has a role to play in helping us become sustainable. Here's a snapshot of some of the work that happened during the 2018-19 academic year to help achieve that, and some of the areas where we need to do more. Our annual carbon emissions from energy use fell by another 7%. We became the first university in the world to announce a science-based target for carbon reduction. And this year we have focused on improving our scope-free emissions, reporting estimated supply chain emissions for the first time. To recycling and waste, where we've reduced waste to landfill for the third year running. What's more, our catering service has banned single-use plastic bottles, preventing 50,000 ending up in landfill this year. And Warpit has saved £65,000 through clever reuse and repurposing. We've made great progress on developing the university's first ever biodiversity action plan to make sure we protect and enhance what we have both now and in the future. And we've been implementing our sustainable food policy, removing red meat from menus, increasing plant based options, using no unsustainable fish, and reducing food waste. This means we've managed to reduce the carbon footprint of our food by 33% and won the Sustainability Award from the university's catering organisation. Our key focus in procurement has been a university-wide review of how we buy our goods and services, including sustainability considerations. When it comes to commuting, 69% of staff already use sustainable modes and we want to increase this further. We've published and have begun to implement our new transport strategy to get even more people using sustainable modes of transport. In terms of business travel, our carbon emissions from flights are still significant, so this is an area where we need to do more. This year we were awarded BRIAM Excellent Ratings for the Chemistry of Health Building and the University Library Offsite Store. We've also been busy implementing new sustainable construction standards for the university, including improved standards for transport, biodiversity, energy and water. Looking at our water consumption, we know there is still more to be done to meet our target of a 20% reduction, and we are looking to develop a water management plan in the future. The Cambridge Green Challenge brings everyone together to help the university become sustainable. There was a 14% increase in our Environment and Energy Coordinators Network, which now stands at 112 members. Green Impact has gone from strength to strength, with more awards than ever before. The first year of our Engage for Change programme saw 40 students complete 43 projects, and it was highly commended in the Green Gown Awards. 127 students and 34 staff took part in Living Lab projects, more than any previous year. And the launch of Cambridge Zero marks an exciting new chapter for the university as we harness our expertise to develop real-world solutions to the challenges of climate change. The Environment and Energy section is here to help with all your environmental sustainability issues. There are lots of ways you can get involved too. Head to our website to find out more and help us build a sustainable university.